to my channel I'm Neha Parashar working in a healthcare company and based in Germany in today's video we'll see the difference between patent data exclusivity and market exclusivity it takes years and years for pharmaceutical companies to develop just one drug molecule and pharmaceutical companies spend lots of money and effort on these innovations that's why these companies are given with some benefits for their effort on these innovations and R&D expenses so that these kind of benefits help to create monopoly for innovator companies so that they can earn some money there are three such benefits in pharmaceutical world which people are very much confused with let's discuss those three concepts patent data exclusivity and market exclusivity patent and exclusivity work in a similar fashion but they are two different kind of protection patent are granted by patent and trademark office anywhere along the development lifetime of a drug while exclusivity is exclusive marketing rights granted by fda upon approval of a drug and can run parallel with a patent or separately now what is this and how they differ from each other let's see one by one when the innovator drug company files an application for patent the patent for 20 years is granted that means no other company can make the molecule for next 20 years i mean no one can copy their product for next 20 years but what happens that by the time companies complete their phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 clinical trial and so on they already lose around 8 to 10 years and many times even longer time period now think about this situation you spend too much time energy and your efforts money to develop just one molecule and just because your patent has expired then someone comes and copy that molecule if that is the case why companies will work on innovations so to promote this innovation patents are granted so that no one can copy your product then the second kind of benefit comes which is called exclusivity how is it different and separate from patent the exclusivity is granted at the time of your drug molecules approval so at the time you completed your clinical trials and submitted your marketing authorization application fda approves your drug product they give you this exclusivity the benefit is that even if your patent is expired your exclusivity is something which prevent the generic manufacturer to come to the market again this exclusivity is of two types data exclusivity and market exclusivity data exclusivity means as the name indicate no company can use your data to support their application meaning if generic company want to submit their application they cannot submit it because they cannot refer to the innovators clinical trial data for bioequivalence so they cannot submit their application using your data on the other hand market exclusivity meaning even if generic manufacturer has submitted their applications they will not get approval from health authority until the innovators marketing exclusivity does not expire let's understand this from this figure for example you have given a data exclusivity of 4 years and market exclusivity of 5 years that means until 4 years none of the generic company can submit their generic application because they cannot refer your data in their generic application but once the data exclusivity of 4 years is over they can submit their application they can use your data to show the bioequivalency but fda will not approve their drug until 5th years because the marketing exclusivity still remains till 5th year once this marketing exclusivity of 5 years is expired now the market is open for generic competitors so the main difference between the patent and exclusivity is that patent can be granted any time and valid for 20 years but exclusivity is always granted upon drug approval and the duration of exclusivity vary depending on the type of product or type of drug for example in us often drugs get 7 years of exclusivity while new chemical entity that is mcs they get 5 years of exclusivity companies can also get other kind of exclusivity if certain legal criteria are met although those generally don't last for longer than 3 years so there are different kind of criteria if you meet them you will get the market exclusivity and there is a different duration for that so to conclude this entire concept some drug can have both patent and exclusivity protection all together while other have just one or none 
they are two totally different concepts so the patent and exclusivity are totally different concepts and granted by different authority as i mentioned some time back exclusivity is not added to the patent life or vice versa where can you find this information on patent and exclusivity orange book and purple book these are the two go to source for you if you want to find out information on patent and exclusivity i have made a separate video on orange book and purple book and how to find information in that you can watch that video one important point that you should remember is in eu the concept of exclusivity is same however provided exclusivity duration will be different from us for example for orphan drugs in us we get 7 years of exclusivity while in eu this duration is 10 years so the concept remains valid just the duration will be different in uh, us and eu so you have to be little careful there so this was all about patent and exclusivity in case you would like to understand some particular concept just let me know in the comment section in my next upcoming video i'll talk about some new concept till then let's stay tuned